This program is for educational purposes only. Before starting any health or exercise related program, consult your physician. Welcome to Your Body for God with Dr. Tony Ganim. Dr. Tony is the clinical director of the Body Pro Wellness Center in Santa Ana, California. He believes that maximizing your health is critical in order to function at your best for yourself, your family, and most importantly for God. Because the Bible tells us that we were created by Him and for Him. Time to maximize your health. Here's your host, Dr. Tony Ganim. Welcome to Your Body for God. This is Dr. Tony Ganim from the Body Pro Wellness Center in Orange County, California, hosting your show, wishing you well wherever you may be. This show is about maximizing your health, your energy, your focus, your abilities, the talents that God gave you so that you could serve Him maximally. And if that weren't incentive enough, just understand this. When you have lots of energy, life is more fun. It works better. You have less pain. Everything functions so much better. Do you want to function better? Do you have any questions about your health that you want answered? If you do, all you have to do is go to either our Facebook page, which is Body Pro Wellness, or email us at info at bodypro.com, info at bodypro.com. Just send us a question that you would like us to talk about online so that I can answer these questions and serve you right. Every week when I come to this microphone, I think and I pray, God, what do you want me to talk about? And sometimes I don't know what I'm going to talk about even five minutes before I do this show. This week, I was led to a couple of questions that were posted on my Facebook page, asking questions about organic food versus conventional foods and maybe a top 10 list of foods. And so I'm going to answer those questions for Rebecca and Amy to the best of my ability. My purpose in doing this show today is not to open a political can of worms like a can of worms needs to be opened in the political realm, but to actually talk about what's happening and help you make better choices. And so I'm going to talk about conventional foods versus organic foods, about pure eating and why to eat purely, and more. Let's go back in time. All the way to the beginning of time. The Bible says that God made everything out of nothing and that it was the beginning, meaning there was no time before this time. God put the heavens up and the earth up. And then he created the sun and the moon and the sky. And he created grass and birds and trees and plants and put water on the earth and did all kinds of things. And then on day six, he put Adam in the Garden of Eden. Now, it's important to remember that God made Adam out of the dirt that he had created right before that. The dirt contained water and contained all kinds of nutrients inside of it, that it would eventually be the inner workings, the inner pieces that make Adam function very well. And then he put inside of Adam the breath of life. And then everything looked perfect, but Adam was lonely. He needed a helper, a mate, and so God formed Eve out of Adam, and Eve had everything inside of her that Adam needed in the first place. They both needed everything that was in the dirt. And God put in Adam the breath of life, and the oxygen that Adam would use would later be so important because Adam would use it to make energy and then give off carbon dioxide. And this carbon dioxide would give life to the plants. And these plants would come from the same soil that Adam was made out of and carry the same water and same nutrients and make vitamins. And then in Genesis one twenty nine, God makes it pretty clear. I want you to eat this stuff because it has nutrients in it. Okay, right there, if you believe what I just told you, then you think differently than the rest of science. Because the rest of science believes that man wasn't created, that man was random in the first place, that there wasn't a God who was the creator that made everything. And they also believe that they are every single day learning how to create man, how to make things better, even to the point of making food. Now, I'm not talking about actually making dinner. I'm talking about genetically altering food actually saying, here is a new crop that we are forming. And then having the gall to say their food is conventional and weirdos are the ones that want to eat the food that your God has made. 
So they label the food that you want to eat, the one that God made in the first place, as organic and special. And it is special because our Creator made it in the first place. But they make it seem like theirs is conventional. Instead of calling it genetically altered Frankenfood, they decide to call it conventional, as if we're going against the convention when we want natural things that were made by our Creator. Our God didn't make random food. He made this food because he knew it would be good for us. And he made it out of soil that had lots of nutrients and water inside of it. And he said it was our food. In the same chapter where he made man, he actually said, this is your food. The author of food is the author of life, is the author of man. He's the creator of all. And he knew exactly what we needed. You see, we have a 100 trillion cells in the body. I know you get sick of me saying it every week, I'm sure. But I want to tell you how awesome we are. I mean, a 100 trillion cells, each one has a little power plant inside. Actually, each one has between five to 5,000 power plants inside of those 100 trillion cells, making energy using nutrients and taking the fuels that you eat and turning them into those energetic particles called ATP. These cells are full of nutrients making energy, and these nutrients come from the foods that we eat. But there are things that I'm going to show you today that when you eat quote-unquote conventional or pesticide-laden foods that actually block your metabolism from working, which means you don't make energy, and it actually makes 100 trillion cells not work perfectly, and then what? You don't function well, and you don't serve the creator who made you with a purpose. The past two weeks, I talked about metabolism. I talked about energy. I talked about the mitochondria and the different energetic pathways that happen inside the mitochondria. It's technical speak, but actually this is school for you. So learn a lot. Inside these mitochondria, you make energy out of fuels. It's like pouring coal inside this engine and it's turning it into energy. It's like taking steam and putting it inside of an energy and it propels things. You don't make energy out of plain air. You have fuels that require nutrients, and inside the mitochondria, you can make tons of energy. Tons of energy, you ask? Yes, tons. To the tune of about 30 million units of energy per second per cell. And there's 100 trillion of those cells, and they all require nutrients in order to convert that fuel to energy. So if you don't eat nutrients, you're in trouble. And the nutrients come from the soil that God made in the first place. Now, God went on over time to talk about Levitical laws and other things in which he said, you know, these soils, they can actually become overwhelmed. You can actually rob their nutrients. So after a little while, I want you to let some soil stand for a while and let the acidity of the ground actually break down the rocks And the rocks will break down into nutrients, and these minerals will go into the soil. What are these minerals? Well, you look on a chemistry chart, the periodic table of elements, it's those minerals. The things that are in our soil are the things that our body needs. So this rest period for soil to not till the land, to allow it to sit for a while so that it could acidify and break down the rocks into minerals is going to replenish the nutrient capacity of the food that you're going to one day eat to be full of minerals. But in today's society, where food is something that you need to sell to the market so that you can make a profit, it's about getting it in that market as quickly as possible, regardless of how many nutrients are in it. I'm not going to let my field sit for a while. I'm going to use it and use it and abuse it and maybe add NKP, nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, three minerals, not all those minerals that we just talked about, just to make sure that something will grow and that I could sell it to the store and make profit. And that's not full of nutrition any longer. All right, hang on tight. I have a lot more to say. Be right back from break. Coming up next, more with Dr. Tony Gannam here on Your Body for God. Stay with us. Hi, this is Dr. Tony Gannam from the Body Pro Wellness Center. God's created an amazing body and you're designed to thrive. I believe that if every cell in your body were thriving, they'd have to use fat like crazy to thrive like that. And I have hundreds of patients who live this way, burning fat and thriving. Would you like to be full of energy and burning fat at the same time? Well, I'd like to invite you to our free seminar titled Your Body for God. 
We'll talk about weight loss, the thyroid, metabolism, cholesterol, blood sugar, hormones, sleep, and more. We're next to Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa. It's a complete health and wellness seminar. It's God-honoring, and it's free, but seating is limited. So register now at bodypro.com or call 888-300-1888. If you've been looking for a health solution with godly principles and incredible results, then call 888-300-1888 or simply register at bodypro.com. BodyPro. Honor God, find the cause, and be blessed. Welcome back to Your Body for God. Once again, here's Dr. Tony Gannam. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tony Gannam. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope your drive is going well or you're having a relaxing Saturday today. Um, We're talking about food. We're talking about the author of food and the reason he gave us the food. And I know that sometimes food is very pleasurable. And the Bible's pretty clear. God enjoys pleasuring us with food. I mean, he's going to create a banquet for us in heaven one day, right? But Food is also our nutrient source. And we can't think of food as that which pleasures us and doesn't have nutrients in it. And so right before break, we were talking about how fields are often overused to the point where they don't have minerals in them. And then they just add three minerals in them, N, K, P, in order to put some nutrients in them to get them to grow, regardless of how much nutrition they have in them. And it's all about the money. And there's always an intersection of health and wealth, whether it's, you know, make more money by way of food, and yes, it affects our health, or save money so that I don't work on my health, and so therefore one day I'm going to end up spending more money because of my disease. There's always an intersection of health and wealth, but don't let it be in your food. Okay, so point number one is God-made food, and it's the real organic conventional food. And now they've changed the word to say this is the different one. The conventional one is the one that scientists are making. And their food oftentimes does not have the nutrients that it needs. But the second thing about these foods that are often conventionally grown is that they're genetically modified. A lot of them are genetically modified. Why would they genetically modify these foods? Well, the first thing you need to understand is it's called a genetically modified organism, a GMO. Now, GMOs are about using organisms, yes, organisms, viruses or bacteria, uh, to actually change the genetics of the fruit or vegetable to change how this fruit or vegetable grows or how it's affected by chemicals that you're about to spray on it. For instance, if you spray certain kinds of pesticides, The weeds might die, but the plant won't die. And so they'll have a more abundant harvest, and that sounds fantastic. Except that's now not what God designed for you to eat. It's been genetically altered in the slightest bit so that it's not the same food that God made. It's like a modern Tower of Babel, right? Where God was shocked by man wanting to pursue and be like God, to get to the heavens, and so man is altering foods, and, and God is going to, I'm sure, say, gosh, I guess you'll reap what you sow. I mean, if you're going to sow terrible pesticide-laden things that animals would not even eat, bugs won't eat because they'll die, then I guess you're going to reap unhealthiness. You're going to lack nutrients. And the pesticides that you're putting on these things or that you're eating in these quote-unquote conventional foods – Let's be very honest. First thing they do is they actually harm the plant. Pesticides actually cause oxidation to the plants. And what that means is that the antioxidants that you wanted to get from the fruit that you were about to eat are now going to be oxidized by the stuff that you're putting on them, even when they were seeds. So now the antioxidant quality is going to go down. And it's going to be useless for antioxidants for you, which means you're going to oxidize in your cells and things are not going to work perfectly. But just think about this. Bugs wouldn't even eat it in the first place because if they did, they would die. So I want you to imagine two fields next to each other, one that doesn't have pesticides and herbicides and fungicides, assuming that the cross-pollination wouldn't happen and that the seeds wouldn't go from one field to the other field. Just say you have one organic or healthy 
God-made field. And the other field, you have these pesticides with less nutrients in them. And then you can, you know, shoot them up with coloring afterwards and put nice wax on them afterwards. And what happens is animals and pests die if they try to eat the conventional, quote-unquote, food. And so there's a bigger harvest. You know, the good food, the organic God-made food, that harvest is going to shrink because animals are going to eat it. And so now when you go to market to sell this stuff, the organic farmer is going to say, well, there's a little bit less of my stuff. In order for me to make a living, the farmer says, I'm going to have to charge this much. And you know what that's called? That's called the cost of food. The other farmer, the one who has this big field because he killed weeds and pests and didn't let his field be eaten up, Actually, the bugs wouldn't even eat his food. They would go to the other field. This person goes to market and says, you know, I had such a large harvest. I can actually manipulate the cost of food today. I can actually drop my price and still make a profit and leverage the organic farmer. Now, are you smarter than a bug? I hope you are. I guess rule number one is if a bug won't eat it, you shouldn't eat it either. When I order vegetables, produce, from Tony at angelosfarms.com. And folks, he's not a show sponsor, but he's somebody I trust. When I order produce from his place, I see that animals have tried to eat some of his vegetation. They have holes in them. He uses natural things like neem oil to actually make sure that the bugs don't make it, but it's natural and actually good for your body. It's been used in Ayurvedic medicine for thousands of years in India, neem oil. And when bugs eat it, that's a good sign for you. But I have more to tell you when we come back for break. It gets a little crazier. Hang on tight. Coming up next, more with Dr. Tony Ganim here on Your Body for God. Stay with us. Hi, this is Dr. Tony Ganim from the Body Pro Wellness Center. God's created an amazing body and you're designed to thrive. I believe that if every cell in your body were thriving, they'd have to use fat like crazy to thrive like that. And I have hundreds of patients who live this way, burning fat and thriving. Would you like to be full of energy and burning fat at the same time? Well, I'd like to invite you to our free seminar titled Your Body for God. We'll talk about weight loss, the thyroid, metabolism, cholesterol, blood sugar, hormones, sleep, and more. We're next to Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa. It's a complete health and wellness seminar. It's God-honoring and it's free, but seating is limited. So register now at bodypro.com or call 888-300-1888. If you've been looking for a health solution with godly principles and incredible results, then call 888-300-1888 or simply register at bodypro.com. BodyPro. Honor God, find the cause, and be blessed. Welcome back to Your Body for God. Once again, here's Dr. Tony Ganim. Welcome back to segment three of Your Body for God radio. I am Dr. Tony Ganim. I hope you're enjoying today's segment on eating natural and wonderful foods. I'm going to continue in a second, but I want to make an invitation to you. If you like this kind of conversation or the idea of understanding how my body functions from a biblical perspective, or how to function at a better level, you can always come to our free seminars at the Body Pro Wellness Center, where we talk about different topics like pain, like energy, like how to maximize your function, how to burn fat, how to exercise properly. You can always log on to bodypro.com and register right there. It's free. Why is it for free? Because this is what God made me to do, and I'm going to do it. And it costs me lots of money to put on radio shows week after week and put on free seminars. But this is what God made for me to do, so I'm going to do it. On my tent-making side, what I do is I coach people into health. I personally help people make decisions about their foods, find out what's going on with their health, maximize their health, maximize their energy, figure out personally what's going on with a person, and take the time to actually teach them how to maximize their health. Spending hours and hours with people, if necessary. Helping you function optimally for God. That's what I do, and that's what I was made for. And that's how I serve God maximally. How do you serve God maximally? 
How are you going to do that if you don't have nutrients in your body? Oh, by the way, I'd like to remind you that you can also download all our old stuff from our website at bodypro.com as well. And you can also download our stuff from iTunes. You can subscribe to our page on iTunes so that you can have our podcasts on a weekly basis. Just go to iTunes.com from your iPhone or your computer and get our updates. Okay, back to the story at hand. Foods. God made food with a purpose. Get the nutrients. Man makes food with a purpose. Make it look good, make it taste good, and make it sell so it makes money. Forget about the nutrients. We'll put three of them in there, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And then we'll put chemicals on them so we can prevent bugs from eating them so that we can maximize profits and tell people that we're actually saving them money. And then make it look ridiculous because ours costs less than theirs. And then you go to the market and you say, gosh, the organic vegetables are so much more expensive than the quote-unquote conventional foods. Foods are an investment into your health. God invested time and energy to even make the earth so he can make foods for your health. You deserve to have this. And when you get healthy, you save money on your health because you won't have diseases and dysfunctions. Let me be pretty clear. Pesticides are metabolic toxins. So are herbicides and fungicides. It's well established. What does that mean? Well, what that means is that as your mitochondria, the energy factories in your cells, are trying to turn the fuels into energy, they can't do it. And this can affect trillions of cells every second. And so you wonder why trillions of cells are starting to dysfunction, like the liver. Maybe it starts to dysfunction. Maybe your skin, maybe your heart, maybe your lungs, maybe your brain. Every cell needs to make energy, and you're affecting how cells make energy when you have these metabolic toxins. Now imagine, instead of having that stuff, you put good nutrients in your body. And you eat the nutrients that actually help your metabolism work well. And metabolism working well means all the cells are making energy out of foods and using all those beautiful nutrients. And wow, things are working well. But that's still assuming that even the healthy stuff is being grown with nutritious soil in the first place. And I'm sure there are organic farmers out there that do use organic pesticides and herbicides and fungicides. And so the question is, do you have the capacity and the want to actually grow your own or get to know an organic farmer or go to a farmer's market and talk to your organic farmers about their fruits and vegetables. That's what people did in the old days. They would go to their own backyard and get something, or they would go to the corner store and get fresh vegetables or fresh fruit that were probably picked that day locally. And not something that was picked from Chile, you know, two months ago and frozen and it loses all its antioxidants in the process and no longer is valuable to you. I encourage you to try to do some vertical farming. Actually, grow your own vegetables. Join a co-op that you trust or find a farmer's market or find a farmer that you trust. But do get the healthy stuff. Your entire life depends on it. Now, Amy, one of my listeners, asked the question, what are the foods that are highest in nutrition? So I'm going to talk about some of those. Of course, I'm not going to be able to do a top 10. I may get eight or five or whatever comes to my mind right now. I don't do anything off a script, and I do it from my head. So kale is the king. Kale is full of nutrition and antioxidants, and wow, it has so much wonderful nutrition in it. And I highly recommend that you would consume a lot of kale. There are ways to prepare kale so that it's really edible and fun to eat. I like to lightly saute it in olive oil, but it's even better when you don't cook it at all. It's full of nutrition, and I use it in my spinach and kale smoothies with ginger and lemon and lime and green tea and other things that I use in there, and stevia to sweeten it. But God gave color to vegetables and fruits, and these colors are actually different antioxidants and different Vitamins. You know, when you see things that are yellow and orange and red, you have to think of things like lycopene and carotenoids, and these are nutrients that have special function in your body. And when you see green, you have to think of 
isothiocyanates, which are incredibly good for your body. They're massive antioxidants. And the greens also have magnesium. And you have to think of vitamin A when you see the deep greens and also vitamin K and so many nutrients. The nutrient value of kale and spinach and chard is unbelievable. But you also want the purples in there, like the eggplants, if they're not inflammatory for you. Some people react to eggplants. Or like the purple cabbage, or the reds and the yellows and the oranges, as I mentioned earlier. God made it fun. And this is what I tell kids to do. Get all the colors. So I'm going to tell this to you, big kids. Get all the colors. I do believe in eating grass-fed beef and good fish. Grass-fed beef and grass-finished beef, which is even better. And if you want really, really, really good grass-finished beef, send me an email at info at bodypro.com, and I will put you in touch with Bill Largent, who is the owner of the Hallelujah Grass-Fed Beef Company, and he has the best grass-fed beef I know of. Fats are also very important. They're good fats in the grass-fed beef, Things like conjugated linoleic acid, which is a fat-burning fat. And actually, it is an anti-inflammatory fat at the same time. And it doesn't have the arachidonic acid that's in normal beef. And so it's not inflammatory. It's really anti-inflammatory and really full of nutrition because the cow ate a whole bunch of grass all its lifetime. Its muscles were full of nutrition. You're eating a cow who literally ate like you want to eat, full of nutrition. So you're eating something that's full of nutrition, a wise investment. Folks, Jesus tells a story of a master who had three servants, and to one of them who didn't make a really good choice with the investment that the master put in this servant, he told him that he was condemned. And to the other two that actually used the talents and the times and the treasures that God gave them, the master gave them in the first place, maximally, He said, well done, good and faithful servant. You can consider putting good things in your bodies as investing well so that you have energy to serve God. And just know this, that God is about food. There is a tree in Revelation called the tree of life. It's the same tree that was in the Garden of Eden in the first place. And God wants you to eat of that. Choose life. God bless you. I'll talk to you next week. You've been listening to Your Body for God with Dr. Tony Gannam, a doctor of chiropractic and a certified holistic nutritionist. To learn more about Dr. Tony's free nutritional health and weight loss seminars, go to bodypro.com. That's bodypro.com. The views and opinions expressed on today's program are those of Dr. Tony Gannam's and not meant to take the place of your doctor's advice. Your Body for God with Dr. Tony Gannam is sponsored by the Body Pro Wellness Center.